Have you ever found yourself transported back to the 70 seconds, tuning into the small screen to watch the Brady Bunch Variety Hour? Whether it was your first introduction to this iconic TV series or you were already a fan of the classic Hollywood actor ensemble, there's no denying the show's unique charm. But before we dive into the nostalgia, let's set the stage with some random facts about the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. This short-lived spin-off of the beloved Brady Bunch series made its debut in 1976, blending the wholesome adventures of the Brady family with the glitz and glamour of a variety show. This ambitious experiment featured catchy musical performances, guest stars, and a healthy dose of kitsch all in a disco-era package. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Brady Bunch Variety Hour? When was the first time you watched this TV series, and who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in the show? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, which aired in 1976, was a unique and short-lived TV series that brought together the beloved characters from the original Brady Bunch sitcom in a fresh and daring format. This series emerged as a spin-off from the iconic Brady Bunch, and it took the Brady family out of their familiar sitcom setting and onto a grand stage, transforming them into a singing and dancing variety show act. The show was a fusion of comedy sketches, musical performances, and guest appearances, breaking away from the conventional sitcom style that had endeared the Bradys to audiences. While the Brady Bunch Variety Hour was a departure from the original series, it retained the iconic characters and their charm, with the familiar Brady family members taking on new roles as entertainers. Despite its short run and mixed reviews, the show remains a noteworthy chapter in television history, as it encapsulated the bold experimentation of the 1970s and the enduring popularity of the Brady family. Its impact on popular culture, while not as enduring as the original series, is a testament to the enduring appeal of the Brady Bunch, even in unconventional forms of entertainment. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour from 1976 was a TV series that faced some unique challenges during its production. Filming of the pilot episode was rushed, finishing just one day before Thanksgiving in 1976, a mere four days before it was supposed to air. The crew worked tirelessly, enduring sleepless nights to get it edited in time. This tight schedule put immense pressure on everyone involved. One of the notable controversies during the show's production was network chief Fred Silverman's comment about Susan Olsen's weight, causing tension on the set. This issue led to meetings and uncomfortable conversations, highlighting the pressures and scrutiny that actors often face in the entertainment industry. Interestingly, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour was later parodied in The Simpsons. In the third segment of The Simpsons' spin-off showcase, titled The Simpson Family Smile Time Variety Hour, a character, Lisa, was replaced with a different performer, similar to how Jan was replaced in the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the challenges and controversies faced during the production of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, making it a unique chapter in television history. In 1976, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour made its debut, a unique spin-off from the classic TV series The Brady Bunch. One notable aspect of this show was Robert Reed, who had previously clashed with Brady Bunch creator Sherwood Schwartz. Despite their differences, Reed seemed to enjoy working on this series, possibly because he wasn't acting alongside Schwartz. An interesting twist was that Robert Reed, a classically trained pianist, had limited experience in music and openly embraced the show's running gag that Mike Brady was a lousy singer and dancer. This self-deprecating humor added a layer of charm to the show. Additionally, the show attracted some celebrity guests. Natalie Wood and her daughters were frequent visitors to the set, adding a touch of Hollywood glamour to the variety hour. Moreover, the casting process for the character Jan Brady drew considerable attention. Over 1,500 girls auditioned to replace Eve Plum as Jan Brady. In the end, Kathy Hilton and Jerry Reischel emerged as the top two contenders, with Jerry ultimately winning the role. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour was a unique chapter in the Brady family's television journey, offering an intriguing blend of music, comedy, and celebrity appearances, making it a notable addition to the Brady Bunch legacy. 
The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, a TV series from 1976, had an interesting addition to its cast after the pilot episode. Producers Sid Croft and Marty Croft decided to bring in Rip Taylor to add a comedy element to the show. They had previously worked with Taylor on Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. The show's creator and executive producer, Sherwood Schwartz, had a distant relationship with the production. He learned about the show when his son, Lloyd J. Schwartz, noticed it listed in TV Guide. Sherwood Schwartz was highly critical of the entire production and made it clear that he had no involvement with it. One of the attempts to make the cast fit the Brady Bunch image was related to Jerry Reischel, who had bangs. To make her look more like Eve Plum, the hairstylists parted her hair in the middle and folded the bangs under the longer tresses. These behind-the-scenes facts shed light on the interesting dynamics of the show and the efforts made to make it work. The addition of Rip Taylor, the creator's distance, and the hairstyling adjustments offer a unique glimpse into the making of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour, a 1976 TV series, underwent significant changes in its early production. Initially, the primary sets were covered in gaudy, multicolored glitter in the pilot episode. However, when the show moved into full production, the sets were revamped. The color palette was toned down, and the glitter was removed. The show faced its fair share of challenges, one of which involved Christopher Knight. He had previously left the Brady Kids singing group due to self-doubt about his musical and dancing abilities. When the Brady Bunch Variety Hour was proposed, he initially had no intention of participating. However, with Eve Plum's absence, the producers were desperate to reunite the rest of the cast. They promised Knight that his musical performances would be limited to the opening and closing numbers. However, this promise was not kept. Ann B. Davis, who portrayed Alice on the original Brady Bunch series, held strong negative feelings about the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. She considered it such a disaster that she refused to discuss it in interviews. These early developments and challenges provide insights into the behind-the-scenes struggles of the show. Despite its iconic status in television history, the Brady Bunch Variety Hour had its share of problems that the cast and crew had to navigate. As we bid adieu to our journey through the vibrant world of the Brady Bunch Variety Hour of 1976, we invite you to take a moment and reflect upon the unique connection that this iconic TV series holds in your life. Whether you've watched it during its original airing or stumbled upon it in the digital archives, there's something timeless and endearing about the Brady family's musical adventures. Perhaps you found solace in their harmonious tunes, or maybe the hilariously flamboyant costumes left an indelible mark on your memory. It could be the charm of their wholesome performances or the sheer audacity of blending a sitcom with a variety show that captured your heart. This was more than just a television series. It was a cultural touchstone that brought families together, sparking conversations and shared laughter. We encourage you to share your cherished memories, thoughts, or musings about the Brady Bunch Variety Hour with us and fellow enthusiasts. What made this show special for you? Did it inspire a lifelong love for music and entertainment? Have you ever attempted to recreate one of those memorable dance routines? Your unique perspective and stories are the threads that weave the fabric of the Brady Bunch's enduring legacy, and we'd love to hear them. So, take a moment to reminisce and share your thoughts, making this experience even more magical. Thank you for your time and interest in revisiting this classic gem. It's been a pleasure taking this nostalgic journey with you. Stay tuned for more engaging discussions, and until next time, keep the Brady spirit alive.